Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. We are finishing up the Flying Pig mission, which is over here in the western US. We've upgraded our criminal network so we can chase it. We need nine guards and six scientists, which is pretty much most of our workforce. Luckily, I've doubled the output, or the required numbers, I guess, of my minions. 20 guards, we still have 10 valets, but 15 techies and 15 scientists. That should be good enough, but we also need to get more overall people. Well, maybe not. We have 81 workers. That should be good enough for now. I don't feel like costing or spending that much money. But we do need to upgrade our vault, so that will be the next thing we do as we wait for cash. And when it comes to the vault, unlike the power room, I always try to do everything at once. So we're just going to get all the gold pallets out of here, and we're going to shove a shitload of money racks instead. You can see in the top left corner what our vault capacity will be. So right now our vault capacity is minus $36,000. But once we get these safe racks, it's going to be a lot more. So I like laying them out like so. And we can just keep them two apart. That's interesting that you have a vault capacity, even if you have no vault. But that totally makes sense. There we go. So once I do that, we're going to have... An increase of $36,000 vault capacity. So we'll have a vault capacity of about a hundred grand, maybe about a hundred and ten. That's not a tremendous amount of money, but what I'm going to wind up doing eventually is I will either expand out the vault this way and move our jail, or I'm going to expand the jail this way and move the vault. I'm not going to have both buildings rooms rather right in the same location since i have nothing else to research at this exact second i'm going to grab the minion count because it's cheap and quick just like john Steele's mom and then we can look into other things to get i don't really know if there is so the worker smarts thing the evil basic training evil 101 that actually has a really interesting use that I have found because training drains smarts. So if you get a couple basic training evil 101 stations, then your workers, your basic yellow shirts will gain that smarts boost and they will spend less time having to take breaks from training so they can get upgraded much quicker. I really like it. I didn't appreciate it the first time I played, but it really does help. Oh, yeah, that was fast. All right. Wow. Um, all right, grab the next one. Why not? So... I forgot they made those way cheaper. Because on the first release, before all of the quality of life improvements, that was not a thing. It was really expensive to get the cap upgrades. Relative to just building a crap ton of lockers. All right. So, we found where the pig is, apparently. I missed that part of the side story. Your minions have found the warehouse where the flying pig is being held. Have your minions steal it and get ready to rub it this in Agent X's face. Okay! Doing so now. Got plenty of manpower to do it, so we'll soon have a flying pig here in our base. What is this? Engineering? That's new. Curious what that's all about. All right, well, now I'm just going to start tearing through all of our various research projects because I don't have anything else to do, so... That's fine. We'll get the money, Karen. That does hurt morale, but, uh... Yeah, see all of that morale garbage? We're going to fix that as soon as they pile up. Come over here, Polar. Go murder a scientist. You died for a noble cause. There we go. That's gonna help everyone's morale. Here, kill this yellow shirt. Oh, 
Usually it would be around here where I ask, am I the bad guy in this situation? But, uh, yes. Yes, I am. Hey, hey, hey! That icon means they're gonna try to take my money and run. I don't think so, scientist. You get your ass in one of the cages. The new loot item is secure in your lair. We went to all of that effort to capture a flying pig. And you were telling me it was a right. It's not your fault, boss. All the mentions in the newspaper were really ambiguous. No one could have known. This isn't over. We'll find new sources, conduct new rage, engage in new... Are you even listening to me? Sorry, boss. It's just that the ride does look kind of fun. And the line's getting kind of long. Fine. Ride it all you like. Let's just... Never speak of this again. I just did. <laughs> the actor who did Polar's voice sounds like she actually got some good direction, which... I don't think all of the voice actors did, so I'm I'm glad she did. All right, let's get the let's let's use it here. Yeah, we'll put it next to the morale room. Why not? Okay, so that's done, and we've got a little extra cash. Let's nope. Let's spend that on research. I really want that. All right, let's increase the genius numbers. All right, so next side story. We're just going to roll side story to side story because I want everything. Meteor or not, here I come. Your sensors have detected an unusual spike of radiation from a Patriot astronomy lab. You think something like that could be at least worth a look? I want an update on that radiation spike we detected in Patriot territory. What caused it? Some new weapon? No, boss. It appears to have come from some sort of meteorite. All of that radiation came from a space rock? Fascinating. I must have it. It's under heavy guard by Patriot. Getting to it will be difficult. Which is why it is so fortunate I have people for these things. Pack your bags. <laughs> I like her so much. It also helps that I really love her visual aesthetic. Because I like characters who have specific color schemes, sort of like my girl Ruin Hrain from Final Fantasy XIV is very purple based and I made her that way on purpose. So, alright. Why is their morale going down? Okay, his, hers is going up. Okay, now his is going up. Weird. I was going to say, their morale should go up when I have them caged. Anyway, so, yeah, I love her aesthetic. The blue, it, it just looks good. She looks good. I've loved this game's art style. There were a bunch of complaints about this game when it first came out, as probably there are complaints about every game when it first comes out, because there are always the people who are dissatisfied and they wanted Evil Genius 2 to just be Evil Genius 1 but more. But that's not how series grow or get new fans, so I was okay with it. But I think this visual aesthetic of this game is flippin' fantastic. Alright. Um, conduct meteor training at the scientist trainer. We're doing that, so very soon that will clear. And we'll be able to keep going. What is a chilly reception? Complete side story nuts and bolts? What is nuts and bolts? Oh, that's not helpful to me. Um... Nuts and bolts. Minion recruitment. Ah. We will need to build our way to world domination, but while your techies are good at fixing things, building new things is another matter. It's time to get an engineer. Huh. Yeah, it's new. I don't know what that's about. Well, whatever. That's still going to be our last priority. Right now, I want to get every side story. This is going to be a much longer series than the other two runs. So all of you need to strap on... Stra <laughs> strap in with your big boy pants and uh, get ready for a long one. Mmm, that's also what I've told John Steele's mom. I'm gonna be making a slight tweak once I get the next auto tag researched because 
right now, even though Polar is revealing the minions, the, the agents who are walking by, no one's doing anything about it because they're not being tagged. So I'm going to wind up isolating this intersection of hallways. Actually, I could do that now. I just would convert it. No, I, I do need to leave it a hallway. Shit. All right, yeah, but I'll isolate this connection of hallways, this intersection of hallways, and tag people to get captured or killed once we get those techs unlocked. Oh, interrogate Patriot agents in the lair. Didn't realize that was suddenly an option. Where are all the guards going? Oh, oh, capture them, capture them. Shit. Should have paused. <laughs> Tried to get to that one a little quicker. Okay, well, more Patriot agents, I'm sure, will be on their way, and then I can advance to the next part of the story. You know the meteor is located in Patriot territory, but its site is off the books. Use every back channel and black market tip you have to find the lab where it's being kept. Oh, that's a research project. Okay. Awesome. Uh, data bank. I gotta say, that is probably my favorite thing that they did from- no. There were a lot of good QOLs they did from the first release. But my- anyway. It used to be in the first release, if you changed researches, research projects, you would lose all progress toward that research project. I have no idea why the initial design was that way. Because that's just silly, even from a realism standpoint, let alone a gameplay standpoint. But, luckily it is no longer a problem. I finished that research project, so your minions have received as much training as they'll need. Send them deep into Patriot territory to steal the meteor. Even without doing an active money generation scheme, our passive income is enough that I'm able to maintain 100% of my vault capacity without doing anything else, which is not- Oh, never mind. I guess I do have one that is going. Oh well, whatever. Do I need to be at level 2 to do this? I don't know, but let's scout the first network anyway. A scheme has succeeded. The new loot item is secure in your lair. With no cutscene. Okay. So next loot is Aperture Science. We do what we must because we can. We have been invited to take part in a prestigious competition that promises both devious experimental trap technologies and cake. Seems like something a power-hungry genius could really benefit from. Side story begun. To partake in the invitational, you need to head to the map coordinates on the invite to see what you can find. Okay, so that seems to be... Looking around, I don't see it for some reason. Oh, there it is. Uh, ten guards. Okay, wow, that is most of my workforce right now. Um, Alright, but the good news is we have the meteor. I suppose I'll put that in this room too. Let's see here, meteor. It hums with an alien power. Oh my. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just huck it in there. Good deal. I don't think I've gotten that before in any of my runs. Not even my side runs. Alright. So, how's this doing? Okay. Well, let's kill the heat. I don't... We don't need to steal money over there quite yet. These blueprints are a relic from ancient times. At least 14 years ago. <laughs> What do they mean? Hmm, it seems to have some connection to the old Lair Builder 4000 devices. But it's covered in chocolate frosting. Time to crack these open. To the laboratory. Thank you, Gladys. Okay, re repel the scientific attackers. Looks like someone else was after the blueprints and they only, they only moments behind you. They only moments behind you when you raided the Enrichment Center. They followed you right back to your lair. Fight them off. Okay. So, I'm going to slow down for a second. So, I have isolated this intersection of hallways, as I had mentioned before. But the doors are set to level 1. And I've set them to be automatically rebuilt if they go down. 
And we can add some traps. Let's add the laser walls. These are my favorite. But I see that we've got somebody here. Oh, we have an investigator, but one of them was caught. Okay, see, having these doors is really helpful for that reason. It's going to take them a hot second to get through that door. And in that time, someone should be able to spot them and escort them back to where they need to go. Because as soon as they're spotted, they animation lock, as you saw from this one. And even though the guard had to get up from the desk and run over, she stayed right where she was the whole time. This way we can keep them corralled, and we don't have to worry about having any unnecessary action happen in the main base. That said, whoever these scientific attackers are, I'm going to have to keep a lookout for them. There's ten of them? Is it these guys? No, they're just tourists. Wearing very ridiculous cold weather clothing. Anyway, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for who's invading the base. But regardless, hopefully we can get that going pretty quickly. Start killing the heat. And yeah, I mean, it seems like we're all right. It seems, what the f oh my god okay there they are um huh? i'm gonna wait until they're a bit closer <laughs> as long as they don't start attacking me they're starting to attack me okay let's oh wait a minute yeah there they go all right jabai get over here wind walk Let's make sure Polar doesn't die, because that might be a problem. I'm going to keep her numbers up so I can see what's going on. If she falls to 100, we're going to retreat her, and it looks like she's going to. Nope, she's, she's holding her own. Okay, now she's, now she's hurt. Okay, time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Time to go. Where are you? Okay, you are on the move. Good. Yup, yup, yup. Alright, everyone needs to die. Let's go, people. We should probably get guns as soon as possible, too. I think I was in the middle of researching lethal clubs. And that needs to be the next priority if we're going to keep having fights. Okay. Yeah, capture guns are on the all right let's yeah we need that and then we need actual firearms this is the first big battle we've had and it looks like we're still losing it they still have at least five left make that six. Oh my god Okay, another one of them went down. How many do we have? How many minions do we have? We have 60 minions here. We only have four guards left. All of this is a problem. Where's Jubei? Jubei is hurt, okay. Well, at least the yellow shirts are trying their best, just... Oh my god, there's seven of them left. Where did these guys get in here from? They came in from this direction. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to watch out for alternate routes into the base. This is actually not good. I might... Let's see, they're down to two... Four, six plus that investigator. The problem here... Okay. What do you ask of Jubei, where are you? Alright, that's, that's a problem. This whole thing is a big, big problem. Yeah, my guards are trying their best, but... Wow. Wow. Wow, they have trashed me. All right, uh, bring in more workers. Higher, 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 higher. What is it? 
I think Polar would be okay if she goes one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm going to... S yeah, okay, yeah, they are getting separated, so where's Polar? Okay, here she is. I'm gonna have her start attacking. Yeah, she's getting hurt. Alright, yeah, she's getting hurt too bad. Okay. Polar, go this way! What are you doing? Alright, I'm gonna try to juke him and go back to my healing area. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna try. I think it's the only way I'm gonna have her survive. Here, come here, come here, come here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Alright, get get in your... Why don't you get in it? Why are you standing there? No, stop! Oh my god! You need to go, Polar! Oh, frick. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out of this. If she would rest up, I'd be okay, but she is not wanting to rest up. She is just gonna have to run around for a minute. I am shocked that I got rocked this hard. Alright, they're walking around. I need to flag them, because I'm having trouble seeing where they are. So there's three. There's one. Alright. Oh. He's fighting Polar. Okay. As long as they stay hand-to-hand, -hand, she'll be alright. Yep, because she's only losing one hit point per punch. And she's hitting him for five. Okay, there's another one down. Good. Okay, there's three more. So it's when they group up that I've got a problem. One of them got hit with a trap and died. Excellent. Okay. Yep, so Karen Estevez is going to be the toughest one at 83 hit points. But this one, Keith Levi, only has two, 20 hit points. Um, Alright, hire more minions. Workers, workers, workers. Uh, Polar, can you rest now? No one is currently aggroing on you. You should rest. Please. Yes! Okay, alright. Jubei, where are you? Uh, Jubei, I need you to get back over here as soon as possible. Yeah, no shit. Get over here. Alright. Yep, she's she's recovering. Okay. Oh my god, this is way more exciting than it needs to be. I don't think he's allowed to rest because we're in red alert. I'm gonna risk turning it off. Yes, okay, because that'll get him to rest. Because these guys are still flagged to die. Alright, they're going down, they're going down. We'll be alright. Oh my god. The blueprints were for an advanced type of test chamber. Get your scientists to decipher them. You know what, Minion guy? We've got way too many candy bars that have been spilled all over the friggin' base. Holy shit. Alright. Frost? I mean, I keep calling her Frost because I think of Frost Nova from the first game. Um... Katarina Frostnova. Polar, I need you over here and you need to prioritize the the guards and we are going to double the guard capacity to 40. That is a shitload of money. But right now I'm going to need it. So where are you, Polar? Okay. Crunch time, baby. And then I need to create another vault. Because we're going to need a lot more money than this to cover things. So for now, we are going to shut down the prison entirely and convert all of this to a vault. Holy crap. That was insane. Alright. Let's do the conversion. And then that. And then that. And then that. 
And thanks to the level one diggy doos, we can go all the way out there. And then boop, boop, boop. Uh, what if I do that? Yeah, there we go. We'll do it that way. Three wide. Wow. That just might be the closest I've come in Evil Not Genius to dying to without it all going to hell. So... Yeah, this is, this is gonna take me a hot minute to recover from, but, uh... We'll be alright. Huh. I guess it'll be a cold day in hell before they can stop me. <laughs> uh. After that security scare, we have beefed up our security. We now have pistol racks and a couple shooting ranges here that you can see in the armory. So I'm going to chase that tech to continue the side story. But first, let's get pistol ranges. It's five guns per rack, and I want enough racks to cover everybody. I guess I'm a little short there. That's enough for 35 minions. We have 40. But of course, the rest can just grab the stun clubs if they want. And it looks like we're finally pretty secure right now, which is very helpful. I'm going to have to move the conference table within the base itself, maybe even over here or over here eventually. But this is good enough for now. Let's start doing our research for the side story and continue our road to recovery after that freaking nightmare. This upgrade for our lair builders will enable us to build test chambers in our lair. Ah, we just need to upload the one megabyte update via this speedy 28.8 kilobit connection. Ah, uh, I remember those days. Remember when me- No, most of you are probably too young. I remember when it took as long to download a song as the song was. A three minute song would take three minutes to download. Now, Maybe half a second? Uh, this might take a while. I know, Gladys, I feel ya. Alright, so that's done at least, but now we it's time to build our test chamber? I thought this was... I thought this entire sequence took longer. Um... Hmm... I don't really have... a great place for a testing chamber at the moment. Um, let's, oh man, I need to research stairs next. Hold on. That really needs to be the next thing we do because I need access to the other floors. Research has begun. The impact analyzer? <sighs> My scientists don't know what stairs are. I think gravity would tell them. All right, for now, let's build our research chamber off of this room. I don't think it's a very good long-term solution because it's going to be too easy for agents of good to get in there, but it's a start. You've been accepted into the Invitational. It's now time to proceed into the Alpha phase. Uh, okay. We'll just start the next one immediately. No, we won't. There's not enough time left on the clock. So, I suppose that's going to do it for today. I'm going to release all these prisoners that I had. Needs to be ignored. Oh, shoot. That one still had zero morale, Ignore I think. That yeah, that one has zero morale. Recapture her! Recapture her! Anyway. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Yeah, now we have firearms. Okay, yeah, the security says, uh, situation is much better now. So, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you again for tomorrow for another episode where we will finish our testing chamber.